Oh, oh, welcome to Gav's Dram. Back to malted scotch tonight. But I'm going to put two head to head. What I've got is two brigaladics and one is the beer barley 2002. Another one. It's Isla Barley. It's 2012, but they're the same age. Um, that's too sorry, I'll start again. 2012, 2012. So the two are the same. They're from Kukaladic, and one's local barley, and the other one's beer barley. Now, it tells you in the bottle the farms are from, if you can see it there. It's very difficult to read. But Ella Barley, Barley it is Barley from Ella and it tells you where the farms is. The Beer Barley, I think it's from Orkney, Orkney and it tells you again where they're from. Very difficult to read. A lot of information on it, nice bottles, but the information is quite difficult to read. So, when I poured them, um, as you can see I've done more than this one and this this one. Got this one last year. I've been sitting away in it, we've really been enjoying it. Got this one this year and I've took it down past the shoulder to do a review on it. The colour is very much similar, there's no doubt about it. The colour is very similar. When I poured them there was a bead on this one. Which is the old barley. There wasn't a bead in that one. So what we'll do, I was going to do them blind, but I know what they are anyway, but I decided just to show them and do them with they are. Very close to colour, that one might be slightly darker, but no much, they're very, very close. So, we'll go for this one first, which is maybe a bar light. I have a nose. There's no much coming from it. Light with citrus. Nothing sticking out of you. That's with it shaking them. Got this one. Then that nose is more, it's more citrusy. I'm getting lemons and limes. It's a nicer nose, it's, it's coming to me more. So we'll shake them. We'll get them with sugar. Try them again. A wee bit of spirit coming from that one. It's hard to pick anything out. This one is definitely nicer. Leave it spin it again and shake it. More citrusy. All the things you should you should be getting. Lemons, limes, even pears. And it's it's that that is a better noise, there's no doubt about it. Now I paid £85 for that one. Can't even remember what I paid for that one. I think that one was cheaper last year. I'm sure it was, but it was last year. Uh, so we'll have a wee sip. It'll be a ballot. Be nice first. We sip. Very thin in the mouth. Feel um, a lot of spirit in it. Um, different, different. <sighs> it's as if there's something holding it back. I don't know whether it's a type of barley, that's, that's what I'm used to, but it's as if there's something holding the flavour back. That's what I'm getting with this one. Might sound stupid, but that's what I'm getting. Take this one, nose it, mouth feels thin, but oh, it's nicer, it's let and go, I can taste citrus, I can taste the lemons, I can taste the limes, I can taste 
it is a typical bourbon. Um, for me, that knocks that out of the park. Eh, uh, would I buy this one again? Probably no. Would I buy this one again? Yes. So, why, why are they so different? The only difference as far as I know is the barley's. And I quite like trying different barley's to see um, the difference. I mean, Springbank, um, Springbank local barley, I think that's crescendo barley. And that's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful whiskey. You can taste the barley and it's lovely. Um, well, Hormans, the one I got, that one. That's got a wine yeast barley in it, that's a 10 year old as well. And that's dry, and that's gorgeous, and that's different. But, there's something about that. I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say that's a great whiskey, and I've heard a lot of people say to me, try it, try it, uh, you need to do a review it. Disappointing, really. Dis head to head, that knocks it out of the park. Absolutely knocks it out of the park. So let me try again. The lemon. It's as if something's holding it back. That's the only way I can explain it. Bang. If I had to put them in dark glasses and sugar them a bit, I'm, I could tell that I'm LA. So let's put some water in. Uh, I've been drinking them without water, but let's put a bit of water in. I'll try and put the same water in. See about it. A couple of drops. Let's see if that makes any difference. We sugar, we sugar. I should have a glass of water beside me. Um, but any hand you have, no. So let's see. That noise is. There's nothing happening in that noise. And that noise, it's alive. There's citrus, there's lemons, there's limes, there's pears. That's weird. It's as if there's some she's shutting it down. Again, I'd love to know what other people think here. I really would. I've read some reviews and, and some of the reviews they think that's great. But I can only be honest and tell you what I get. And I'm comparing the two of them together. I certainly wouldn't drink no water. Although they're 50%, I definitely wouldn't need that. The water's just drowning. <clears throat> well, that's Beard Barley 2012, Oka Barley 2012. They're not even close. That's a knockout. That's that's win and a knockout. That is knocked out of the park. I'm sorry if I offend MD. That's what I think. Uh, a bit disappointed. I thought they'd be being closer in that. So thanks for watching Gab's Drums. Press the bell. Press the subs button. Um Gab's Drums is self-funded. Everything you see behind me and everything I buy is tasting. I don't, nobody funds me for anything. I've not got any patrons. I don't want any patrons. I buy my whiskey and I review my whiskey. I need help. If I can get it to 500, Google will help me, which would be nice. I get certain tools and I can help. If I can get to 1000, it would be even better. So please. Tell your friends about it, again, if you like it, comment, tell me if you've tasted it to them. 
There's something. Everybody tastes whiskey. There's no such a thing as a bad whiskey. Everybody has got an opinion on whiskey. Now, I don't know what the answer is, but there's something shutting that down. If that makes sense. It's no, it's no opening up. It's just no opening up to me. The nose is no opening. I'm not getting anything on the pile when I taste it. Well, I'm getting something, but I'm not getting that. When I open that, as soon as I nose that, I'm getting citrus, I'm getting pears. All the things you get in a bourbon cast. I'm not getting to uh, toffee and cream and fudge or anything like that. But I'm getting other fruits. But well, that's nice around the power. Turn in the mouth, nice around the power. I'll get there. I'll give it to a few people to see what they think. Um, I'll probably finish that one. I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm having a blind tasting shortly. A couple of friends up and they're going to get blinds. I might stick, stick that in the blind. So if you're watching, I will stick that in the blind. And see what they think here. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching Gav's Drums. The subs are needed. Need your help. I'm going to toast this one to you. As I do every week. Enjoy your whiskey. It's for sharing. The whiskey community. It's a great community. Oh, something else. Um, on the 10th of September, I'm going to Newcastle for the independent whiskey bottling. Um, North East Whiskies are running it. It's only independent bought one. I think it'll be a great day. I'll begin doing. I'm getting in early, I think, to do some film and shooting for the former run, independent whiskey bought one. But hopefully if I get some cuts, I'll put them on Gab's drums if you are interested. So I think there's still some tickets, I think there's 50 tickets left. You'll see it on the forums, uh, you'll see it on our forum, independent whiskey bought one. And Go and support the guys. Uh, it should be a great day. It'll be a wee bit different for, for the other festivals we go to because it's just going to be independence here. Cooper's is there. Um, Caden Hens will be there. There's quite a lot. There'll be a lot of stands. It should be a great day. 10th of September. So stay safe, guys. Enjoy your drums. See you next week. Slange. Good night.